Hello! It is nice to finally be able to um, communicate to you through video and it's nice to meet you or rather I should say it's probably nice for you to uh, see me even though I can't uh, uh, see you. Here. So thank you for your uh, patience. Uh, I have uh, acquired all the new camera equipment and finally was able to um, drag my college-age son from his um, important uh, responsibilities in the classroom to show me the basic of recording and editing and uploading uh, the video onto uh, YouTube. So, this is a very historic day because you are seeing the very first video I have ever made in my entire life. So, please do um, Send me your honest feedback um, in terms of, of the audio here, um, uh, the, the visuals, and uh, whatever I can do to um, improve uh, the video for you for you um, will be most welcome. And I'm just going to keep this short and limit uh, there to simply introducing myself uh, to you and uh, and talk a little bit about the class. And then um, based on uh, how well this video is um, uploaded and viewable by you, I will then immediately uh, continue to uh, produce uh, some video lectures uh, for each module that will uh, supplement. Uh, uh, the course. Yeah. Well, let, let me introduce myself. So, my name is Danny Matthews, and i um, got to be real careful when you uh, spell my uh, last name because most people misspell Matthews with um, two T's, and that's absolutely wrong. And the way for you to remember how to spell my last name is for you to know what my um, first undergraduate major was when I went to um, Harding University. I went to Harding University majoring in math, and you would spell math with one T, right? And so if you know my major, math, M-A-T-H, and then E-W-S, uh, that, that is uh, Matthew. Okay, so that's um, who I am. Uh, I'll just tell you a little bit about my um, background, life experiences, and how that uh, con will contribute to the class. And I'll have a brief, um, I guess, uh, introduction of my family. Uh, I wanted to show some uh, family uh, pictures here, but it's really bright uh, out here, and it'll be uh, difficult. Uh, by the way, I am in a uh, small uh, market in uh, Malibu. It is currently about 59, 60 degrees, so uh, it's pretty uh, chilly by uh, California uh, standards. So everyone's uh, pretty cold uh, here uh, today. Uh, you know that you live in Malibu for a while when everyone comes plane when uh, the temperature is below uh, 70 degrees and then they also complain uh, when it is above um, 80. Okay, so uh, that's Malibu uh, for you. Uh, about who I am, um, I grew up in the uh, state of Texas, uh, lived most of my life uh, in Houston, went to a uh, private school uh, there and um, and then I went to um, Harding University for my undergraduate major, and I, I was really um, interested in math. And so I took all my math courses for the first two years um, at Harding. But while I was at Harding, I had um, really fantastic uh, professors that opened the world of the Old Testament to me and made me realize that how much uh, we have all neglected the Old Testament to our um, detriment um, in the show. And, and so I decided at that point um, that I really wanted to do this. I felt being led into specializing in the Old Testament uh, for the benefit of the show, for the benefit of students um, like you. And so I added two more majors in my undergraduate after finishing on math. I majored in Bible. and. I ended up taking a lot of um, Hebrew and Greek courses because I was fascinated with um, ancient languages. But then I ended up taking so many of them, I realized I had enough credit for a major in biblical languages. So I ended up uh, having major in Bible, biblical languages, and uh, math after I graduated uh, from Harding. And at that point, I knew I wanted to um, get the MDiv, and I met my uh, 
You too, right, Wendy. Uh, Jude from Oregon on the West Coast uh, in the Portland area. We came the first year at Harding. Uh, didn't really uh, get together until our third year, but we were good friends the whole time. And then uh, we got married right after we graduated from Harding and we moved to Abilene, uh, Texas, where we lived for four years and I uh, pursued a Master of Divinity. At, at that point, I was probably more on the track to a uh, full time ministry pulpit, uh, something like that. Um, but my professors encouraged me after seeing uh, my work, my love for the languages of um, academic uh, scholarship, uh, they encouraged me to uh, consider pursuing a PhD uh, uh, route that um, can prepare me to do even more uh, beyond uh, ministry to give me a wide range of um, options. And so I decided to do that. And, um, and, and I, I wanted to do a testament. But in order to get ready for the PhD, um, we moved up to uh, Princeton. And at this point, we had uh, our first son, he was one. We moved to Princeton, and I attended uh, for one year to get a degree that is uh, a Master of Theology, um, which is a um, post MD degree in one year that allowed you to specialize in a topic. So uh, in one year, I took uh, a number of courses um, in Old Testament, and that was the uh, launching pair to my PhD studies, which was in Richmond, uh, Virginia. And so we moved to Richmond, Virginia, and lived there for seven years. Uh, our final two sons were born uh, there um, in Richmond. And so I was taking PhD courses, but engaged in a lot of other things as well to support my family, I taught. Uh, uh, middle school in an inner city private uh, Christian university for about uh, three years. I also uh, was a book review editor and later a managing editor for the theological journal published by uh, the seminary in Richmond uh, called Interpretation. And even to this day, Interpretation is probably um, the highly, most highly recommended uh, journal for uh, ministers and um, teachers by uh, presenting uh, quality and um, uh, uh, cutting edge um, uh, research on biblical studies, biblical theology, but aim to a general audience to benefit ministers and teachers. So I did that for seven years, and, and when I was about a year away from finishing my dissertation, um, an opening came up at Harding University. So, uh, we all moved uh, to Harding University, going back to where uh, I did my undergraduate education. And um, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, my time at Harding. I taught mostly uh, Old Testament to the major, uh, some New Testament. And, uh, and it, uh, in a benefit for you, um, I taught about maybe 30, 40 percent of my time in their um, non-traditional uh, uh, program. Uh, for graduates, and a lot of these were people in the 30, 40, 50 that have left their primary career and uh, coming back uh, to school. So I enjoyed that uh, for four years. Um, at the same time, it was hard for us to live in a small town in Arkansas, especially since I grew up in Houston. My wife lived on uh, the West Coast, and she just loved the West Coast setting, so uh, an opening came up at uh, Pepperdine University. And I applied, and um, and then when I got the position, uh, we all moved to Pepperdine uh, seven years ago, and now we're here uh, to stay. I would say we fell in love, we fall in love in California, and uh, we're here to stay. Now my old is done. Uh, it now it's first year at uh, Pepperdine, and then. Um, his name is Taylor, and then my middle son, Bailey, is in ninth grade at Malibu High School, and our youngest is Avery, finishing up his uh, fifth grade. Okay. So thoroughly uh, enjoying it uh, here. Then at Pepperdine, I, I taught a variety of courses from uh, general Old Testament survey to freshmen uh, to uh, no, major courses in the undergraduate and uh, graduate courses um, as well. It's a very fun and exciting uh, uh, play to um, uh, to be uh, there. Just a little bit about myself and my hobbies, my interests. Um, so I love baseball, and I grew up in Houston, and I was a big Astros fan in the '80s when they played in the Astro Dome. They had Nolan Ryan and all those guys. But after I moved away from Houston. Um, I tended to support the local uh, baseball scene, and since I've been in LA for seven years, 
made the Dodgers have been my team. So I'm uh, try to attend about 15, 20 uh, Dodgers games a year and all the playoff games uh, that I can go to. So, so the Dodgers, my uh, first love, um, I would say after uh, God, um, my wife and my kids. Uh, and, then, and then the Dodgers um, there. So I really um, enjoyed that. Uh, also, um, I really love well, uh, fantasy and uh, fiction, science fiction uh, film and, and book. And top of the list is Star Wars. Uh, I grew up, I, I went, uh, saw all of the original uh, movies uh, when I was um, young, growing up. And I, I Luke Skywalker was my hero. And so uh, I went by the name Luke Skywalker at school um, for about three or four years from third grade to uh, fifth the thick grain so they told me I was just too old to do that stuff. So I love Star Wars and I was, I was just so happy that they brought the uh, movie back after waiting for so long. Uh, been waiting for over 30 years, just dying for some role of Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, and that finally happened. Um, 2015, and uh, finally, uh, and, and um, I, I would when the movie came out, I would watch it about six or seven times um, on on the big screen. No, people think I'm crazy, but my response is, um, when will you ever have a chance to see Star Wars on uh, the big screen after it's gone? Like you always watch it on your your puny 75 inch screen, which doesn't compare to the 70 foot, 80 foot uh, screen there. Now, contrary to uh, the bad, um, I guess response on uh, or the hard um, review of Last Jedi by Star Wars fan, I really don't mind because. I can watch any Star Wars film at all. I mean, the whole movie could just show Luke Skywalker cutting the grass with his lightsaber, and I would still watch it. You know, I love lightsabers. Um, I love uh, Star Wars. You know. And then um, I'll tell you more about my family in another video. But my research interest is uh, primarily um, Old Testament. And uh, uh, my book that I wrote, uh, which I would show here, I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's a study of uh, the portrayal of Moses in uh, the Pentateuch. And um, I very enjoyed uh, doing that. And I, I analyze how Moses is portrayed in the Pentateuch, the first five books. And uh, the basic uh, conclusion is uh, trying to challenge the typical view that Moses is only uh, portrayed as a prophet. And while I acknowledge that there are a lot of the ways that Moses is portrayed, that's similar to the prophet. And you'll find out that the way Jeremiah was called in Jeremiah chapter 1 is very similar to the call of Moses at the bunny bush. But it called uh, uh, attention to a number of ways Moses did portray that we do not see in the prophet. Uh, for example, we do not see the prophet leading an army to battle like Moses. We do not see the prophet uh, receiving the law, giving it to people like Moses. Uh, we do not see the prophet engaged in building, uh, you know, the portable temple sanctuary. Um, prophet uh, don't do that. And there are a lot of other aspects as well. And so I argue that uh, all of the features of Moses um, are typical features of, um, of, of, of royalty, of king in the ancient Near East, and that uh, the typical person in the ancient Near East, when they read Moses, would realize right off the bat, this is how um, the king is portrayed. And so I argue that um, Moses is portrayed as like an exalted royal figure, uh, empowered by God to lead and to uh, save his people. So I'm really excited um, about that. And so my main research is on Moses and his uh, portrayal. And I wrote another article that came out that just reportedly a number of uh, book reviews. Um, but my main passion is um, trying to bring the best of academic study of the Bible uh, to bear on the life of the church and to help people like you that are going into ministry um, to allow the Old Testament to be a, um, a serious and profound theological resource that will transform you and um, guide you and nourish you uh, in your ministry and by extension using you to uh, to benefit uh, your people around you and so uh, for that reason i'm very excited uh, to do this course on on the profit and i'm really happy about um the intentionality of connecting the academic uh, with the uh, ministry um uh, ministry aspect with the portfolio yeah, which is what i did the rationale for the assignment in the course for you doing um 
you know, a theory of academic exegetical study of, of a heritage, but that's not the end of the process. And that would be if you were only interested in, in a scholarly, scholarly uh, investigation, which is just fine for a lot of people. But uh, for your purposes here, uh, it's to see how a, a uh, academic study can pave the way for um, your application yeah, in, in the life of the show today. So that would be the focus of this class. Well, I'll try to keep this short, and that, that's all um, I would say, just so you can see uh, what I look like, and, um, and then give me your response, and, and if it goes well, uh, I will continue to uh, produce more uh, videos as well, okay? Well, you have a great weekend, and God bless you.